Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Hunter x Hunter, an iconic shonen anime series from 2011 that's still very popular among the masses. In this video, we'll be discussing the origins of Isaac Netero, the 12th chairman of the Hunter Association and a very important character in the anime. And now, with no further ado, let's get right into it. The Background of Isaac Netero much of Isaac Netero's background remains unknown as not much is shown about his childhood or youth along with how he learned Nen and became a hunter. Although it is said that he was the most powerful Nen user in the world when he was younger. Netero is believed to have learned martial arts and reached his peak potential at the age of 46. During his practice, he realized that his martial arts made him the man that he was and he decided to show his gratitude in a special way by doing a set of 10,000 punches and prayers daily. He would focus on his chi, put his hands together, say a prayer and then punch. In the beginning, it took him around 18 hours to finish the set of punches, following which he would collapse due to fatigue and wake up the next day only to repeat the same thing again. He did this for two years straight, making him even stronger than before, his physical strength getting a massive boost in the process. After a few more years had passed, he went back to the dojo he had originally learned martial arts in and showcased what he had achieved after years of training and meditation. His training allowed him to punch faster than the speed of sound, astounding everyone at the dojo. The Grand Master was among these people and he broke down into tears after watching the performance and begged Netero to train him, offering him the title of the new Grand Master of the Dojo. Netero accepted the offer but had a fun little condition. He had to be served some food first as he hadn't been getting much food up in the mountains. After he became a hunter, he joined a legendary team of some of the strongest hunters ever, known as the Pure Paladin Squad. Later, the team went on expeditions to the Dark Continent twice and Netero managed to return alive both times. Although the adventures of the expedition didn't satisfy Netero as he was more into combat than survival. Later in the anime, Netero's son, Bion, tried to venture to the Dark Continent as well, but Netero came to know about it and forbade him from ever going there again, possibly because Netero had been there before and saw the threats in person and didn't want to endanger someone else's life. Years later, Netero would begin his search for stronger opponents who could defeat him in a one-on-one -on -one battle, but much to his disappointment, all of his opponents he fought with were defeated. Eventually, he became the chairman of the Hunter Association and discovered Jing Freaks, who earned his praise and was called one of the top five Nen users in the world when Netero was talking to Biscuit Kruger. Appearance Isaac Netero appears to be just like any other elderly person, but he is incredibly strong and muscular, which came as a surprise to many given his age. He has white hair tied into a ponytail, a thick white beard, and hanging earlobes with ornamental piercings. Netero usually wears a traditional Japanese outfit, a kimono, and traditional wooden sandals. In the Chimera Ant arc, he changes his appearance before his fight with Meruim, the Ant King, by trimming his beard, mustache, and ponytail. During some of his fights, Netero wears a t-shirt with a kanji meaning heart or mind written on his shirt and shorts. He considers this set lucky and doesn't wear it unless he has a really important fight coming up. Netero's physical features are kind of similar to the Buddhas and Buddha Rupas in Buddhist art, such as half-closed eyes, large ears, and big eyebrows that are curved upwards. His hair bun and mustache are also similar to that of a Buddhist, indicating the Buddhist influence in the anime. Personality Netero was an active and playful guy, sometimes even being mischievous, as seen in his game with Gon and Killua. At times, he also seemed to be zoned out, thinking about things without paying any attention to his surroundings. Although he did have the ability to act professionally when called for with the role of the chairman of the Hunter Association, at other times, he acted so vaguely that he was referred to as insane. All things aside, he was still a fantastic martial artist who took his fight seriously. He completed the challenges with passion and always respected the moves of his enemy. His enthusiasm for challenges affected the way he served as the senior of the Hunter Association as he regularly tested the abilities of those who were passionate about becoming hunters. Biscuit Kruger called Netero a twisted individual as he gave the hunters assignments that were extremely difficult with awfully short deadlines. He liked to face challenges and even wanted his vice chairman to be someone he couldn't get along with as it would be more fun that way, therefore choosing Periston Hill for the post. One of his best qualities was not being arrogant, even after being one of the most powerful Nen users in the world. He was also quick-witted and acted swiftly when needed, as seen when he banned any expeditions to the Dark Continent after having a first-hand experience of the threats it possessed and sacrificing his own life to defeat Meruim and save millions of people around the world. The Marvelous Story Arc of Isaac Netero Hunter Exam Arc Netero is first seen in the Hunter Exam Arc when he's informed about an unruly examiner. 
Menchi, who failed all the examinees in the second phase of the exam, making the purpose of the exam null and void. Netero then jumps from his aircraft to the exam site and orders her to conduct a new test, which she does, and a lot of the examinees are able to pass the second time. A little while later, after all the examinees have boarded the airship, he invites Gon and Killua for a fun little game, with the reward being an official hunter's license without having to go through the exam. He asks them to snatch a ball away from him, all while he only uses his left leg and hand. Killua, after trying for some time, realizes he's never gonna win and backs off, while Gon keeps playing and eventually manages to make Netero use his right hand. Chimera Ant Arc When Netero is informed about the potential threat posed by the Chimera Ants, he forms an extermination team comprised of himself and two potentially strong warriors, Nov and Moral, who he thinks are best suited for this job. The extermination team soon wipes out numerous squadrons of the Chimera Ant colony with a simple tactic. Morel creates a smokescreen and Nov uses it as cover to teleport the squadrons into his pocket dimension where Netero takes them out one by one. However, they fail to stop the queen before the king's birth and decide to exterminate the king in a change of plans. The extermination team then leaves the NGL area and begins preparing for the day when they would finish the king along with the rest of the ants. On the night of the attack, Netero jumps over the royal castle and he and Zeno come face to face with the ant king Meruim. He and Meruim decide to go to a place previously chosen by Netero, which was a nuclear weapons test site. It is here that we see the true potential of Isaac Netero where he displays his Nen ability, the 100 type Guanyin Bodhisattva. He uses a number of his most powerful attacks such as the first hand, the third hand, and the 99th hand, but to his shock, Meruim injures all of these attacks with very little damage. The fight goes on, and even after getting hit by a barrage of attacks, Meruim manages to sever Netero's right leg and left arm, but Netero smiles and states he doesn't need his hands to pray. Immediately after this, Netero unleashes his most powerful attack, the Zero Hand, but to his utter disbelief, even the Zero Hand fails to severely damage Meruim. With no other option left, Netero, as a last resort, stabs his heart with his finger, which in in turn triggers a bomb placed inside him, killing Meruim in the process. The two royal guards, Poof and Yupi, manage to revive Meruim by sharing their life energies, but all three of them succumb to the poison in their bodies, which was later revealed to be an effect of the bomb. Essential Gear and Tools of Isaac Netero Heart Shirt Netero used to change his outfit from a kimono to his heart shirt before fights that he considered serious and important and that he wanted to win at any cost. The heart shirt was a special white t-shirt with blue sleeves and collar with the word heart written in kanji on the front. It was unclear if the shirt actually possessed any abilities but it likely made him stronger when he wore it. He was seen wearing the shirt before his fight with Meruim as he considered it an extremely important event for the survival of humanity. Poor Man's Rose At some point in his life, Netero had a bomb planted in his body. It was programmed to explode the moment Netero's heart stopped beating as a last resort to defeat a formidable opponent. Additionally, it also released a deadly poison on explosion which would make sure to finish the job in case someone survived the explosion with minor injuries. It was this technique that was finally able to finish off Meruim, the incredibly strong Ant King who managed to almost defeat Netero. Even though Meruim was revived after the initial blast by his royal guards Poof and Yupi, all three succumbed to the effects of the poison soon after. Isaac Netero's Abilities and Powers Explained in his youth, Netero was believed to be the world's strongest Nen user. He went on expeditions to the Dark Continent and managed to return twice without being injured at all, despite the fact that the survival rate on the continent was less than 1%, showing how incredibly powerful he was. Even in his old age, when he had half the power of his youth, he managed to wipe out several squadrons of the Chimera Ants all by himself. He's also a skilled martial artist, recognizing Killua's rhythm echo merely by taking a look at it. He possesses incredible control over his muscles, as he was able to prevent blood loss from a severed leg by contracting his leg muscles in the fight with Meruim. As the chairman of the Hunter Association, Netero enjoyed all the perks and benefits that came with his position. He had immense power due to the post he held at the association. Immense Speed and Strength Netero could jump from an airship high up in the air without taking any fall damage during the Hunter exam. He was also able to pierce his own heart with just his fingers and some Nen, showcasing his incredible strength. Moreover, he's considered to be one of the fastest characters in the series, seen when he was able to run by Gon and Killua before they could even realize something went past them. Even during the ball game with Gon and Killua, he could dodge their attacks using just one arm and leg. The real extent of his speed is seen in the Chimera Ants art, where he outspeeds both Neferpitu and Meruim, two of the fastest characters in the show, while delivering his barrage of punches. When he activated his 100 type Guan Yin Bodhisattva, the speed of his punches reached the speed of sound, and he managed to launch a thousand attacks in under a minute during his final fight with Meruim. 
genius level intellect. From the Hunter exam through to the Chimera Ant arc, Netero has shown his wit and intellect several times throughout the story. During the Hunter exam, he manages to prepare the battle chart by just speaking to the candidates and getting to know their likes and dislikes. In the Chimera Ant arc, he is already prepared for Gon and Killua to participate in the extermination plan. He also had a bomb planted inside his body as a last resort in case he wasn't able to defeat Meruem in a one-on-one -on -one battle, which proved to be true later in the show. Apart from this, he was able to hide the fact that he had a son even from the Zodiac who were incredibly smart themselves. Nen Netero is said to be one of the strongest Nen users in the anime, although he was much stronger in his youth than his old age. His Nen type is Enhancement, but he was able to use the Manipulation, Emission, Conjuration, and Transmutation Nen as well, making him a very versatile Nen user. He possessed the 100 type Guan Yin Bodhisattva, his most powerful ability that he used against Neferpitu and Meruim. At one point, while he was meditating to prepare his Zero Hand ability, Killua, although being a thousand miles away, instantly froze with fear due to Netero's radiating aura, and he immediately changed paths and ran off in a different direction. Netero's bloodlust was so powerful that it managed to scare even Meruim, who was the strongest Chimera ant in the colony. He also gave a glimpse of his bloodlust to Gon and Killua at the airship during the Hunter exam. Although it was done in a lighthearted manner, it was enough to make Gon and Killua uncomfortable for a moment. And with that, today's video comes to an end. What are your thoughts on Isaac Netero? We want to hear them in the comments section down below. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Until next time, this is Wizard Wheezy signing off, but thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and have a marvelous day.